Hello guys. In today's video, I will show you a very useful Excel function that will save you a lot of time and effort if you are investing in the stock market. Okay, let's begin. So, the function is called stocks, and you will find in the Excel ribbon, in data, and data types. What it does, is, to automatically and instantly bring live data, in two categories. The first one, is live stock data such as stock price, 52 weeks top and low price and more. The second category, is general stock information, like in which stock exchange this stock is listed, and company information, like how many employees are working in that company, where are the headquarters, etc. If you are an investor, most probably you would care to update prices and dynamic information, in a fast and relatively accurate way, and we will see it right away. Unfortunately, there is no dividend information available, such as dividend amount, yield rate, x date etc. So, if you are a dividend investor you'll have to find another workaround to update this data. Okay, let's find out how to use it. Firstly, we will need a collection of stock tickers, that we will put in our worksheet and let Excel fill in and update the data we want to see. For this example, I will take one of my favorite list of stocks, I would say it's indeed my favorite collection of stocks, and this is the SNP, Dividend Aristocrat list of stocks. So let's get the list directly from the internet, and more specifically let's get it from Wikipedia. So guys, I'm going to copy, and, paste this list into an empty worksheet. Here we are. So let's select only the data from the first column, that is the ticket symbol and, click the stocks function. It takes some brief time to recognize and convert the tickers to stock companies. In this example, we see that one ticker is not recognized, and Excel pops out a sidebar message. Let's go and correct the symbol bf-b to bf.b. So, after the search is complete, we have the correct stock and we select it. Let's delete all the rest columns since we can bring all those and more, directly from Excel. When you select a range of stocks, whether one or more stocks, you get a small button on the edge of the stock, which gives you a drop-down list with available data that you can pull in. Let's bring some data in. So, as you can see, every time I select a new data field, Excel automatically adds this data in the last column. In this example, we inserted, name, price, and 52 weeks high and low price. As you can see, there are a lot more data options that you can insert. So this is it. As mentioned earlier, we cannot bring dividends data, so, if you are a dividend investor like I am, you will have to evaluate the next options. 1. Update the date manually, this of course is the easiest but most time-consuming method. 2. Utilize a third-party add-on, this solution is the most convenient but it will most likely cost some money. 3. Make an automation yourself, to pull date from the web directly. Either with the Get Data Excel capability, or by using a programming language such as Python and scrape data from the web. This method requires significant time upfront, but it is a very easy, fast and error-free way to update the date and it doesn't cost anything. I hope you enjoyed this video and you also learned something useful, that will save you time in the future. If you do, then please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.